Look up at the night sky. What do you see? Is it just a blanket of darkness dotted with tiny lights, or is it something more? Countless stars twinkle like celestial fireflies, each one a beacon of light in the vast expanse of space. Each tiny point of light is a distant sun, many larger and brighter than our own. These stars have been burning for millions, sometimes billions of years. Some of those stars have planets orbiting them, just like our solar system. Imagine the possibilities. Could there be other worlds with life or even civilizations out there? Our universe is vast and mysterious. It stretches far beyond what we can see with our eyes or even with our most powerful telescopes. It's hard to grasp its sheer size and scope. The universe is so immense that it takes light traveling at 186,000 miles per second, billions of years to cross it. The universe is everything we can touch, see, feel, measure and detect. It is a complex and beautiful tapestry woven with the threads of space and time. It encompasses all of space and time and all the matter and energy within it. The universe is constantly expanding, with galaxies moving away from each other at incredible speeds. From our tiny planet, we gaze out into the cosmos. We are but a small part of this grand universe, yet we have the ability to explore and understand it. We are filled with wonder and a desire to understand our place in this grand cosmic tapestry. The more we learn, the more we realize how much there is still to discover, and as we learn more, we realize just how much more there is to discover. New galaxies, stars and planets are being found all the time, each one adding to our understanding of the universe. The universe is a place of endless possibilities. It is a realm where the laws of physics create wonders beyond our wildest imaginations. It's a place of beauty, wonder and mystery. From the swirling clouds of gas in nebulae to the majestic spiral arms of galaxies, the universe is a visual feast. So let's embark on a journey of discovery together as we explore the wonders of our universe. There's so much to see, so much to learn, and so much to marvel at. The universe awaits us with all its secrets and splendors. Where did our universe come from? This question has puzzled humanity for centuries, sparking curiosity and wonder in the minds of scientists, philosophers and dreamers alike. How did it all begin? What was the catalyst that set everything into motion, leading to the creation of stars, planets and eventually life itself? Scientists believe that the universe began with a colossal explosion called the Big Bang. This theory first proposed in the early 20th century, has since become the cornerstone of modern cosmology. This wasn't an explosion in the traditional sense, like a bomb going off. Instead, it was the rapid expansion of space itself from an extremely hot, dense state, a concept that challenges our everyday understanding of explosions. Instead, it was the rapid expansion of space itself from an extremely hot, dense state. Imagine a balloon being inflated, but on a scale that is almost impossible to comprehend. Imagine everything in the universe squeezed into a tiny point, smaller than an atom. This point, known as a singularity, contained all the mass and energy that would eventually form everything we see around us today. Then, about 13.8 billion years ago, this point began to expand rapidly. This expansion was not just a simple spreading out of matter, but a stretching of space itself. Space itself stretched and cooled, and the universe as we know it was born. This process set the stage for the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. In the first few seconds after the Big Bang, the universe was an incredibly hot and dense soup of energy and particles. Temperatures were so high that normal matter couldn't exist in its current form. But as it expanded and cooled, protons and neutrons formed. These subatomic particles are the building blocks of atoms, the fundamental units of matter. Over time, these particles combined to form the first atoms, mainly hydrogen and helium. These simple elements would later come together to form stars and galaxies. The Big Bang model is supported by a wealth of evidence, including the observed expansion of the universe. This expansion was first noted by Edwin Hubble, who observed that distant galaxies are moving away from us. The cosmic microwave background, radiation, a faint glow left over from the early universe, also supports the Big Bang theory. This radiation provides a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old, and the abundance of light elements. The proportions of hydrogen, helium, and other light elements observed in the universe match the predictions made by the Big Bang model. The Big Bang theory remains the prevailing cosmological model for the universe. 
It provides a comprehensive explanation for the origin and evolution of the cosmos and continues to be refined as new observations and discoveries are made. As we continue to explore the universe, we uncover more about our origins and the fundamental forces that shape our existence. The journey of understanding the beginning of everything is far from over and each discovery brings us closer to comprehending the vast, intricate tapestry of the cosmos. Stars, the building blocks of galaxies, are born in giant clouds of gas and dust scattered throughout the universe. These vast regions, often spanning light years across, are the cradles of star formation, where the raw materials of the cosmos come together to create new celestial bodies. These clouds, called nebulae, are stellar nurseries where stars ignite and illuminate the cosmos. Nebulae are often illuminated by the light of young stars forming within them, creating breathtakingly beautiful and colorful regions in space that captivate astronomers and stargazers alike. Gravity plays a crucial role in star formation. It is the force that drives the entire process, pulling together the gas and dust within a nebula to form denser regions. Within a nebula, gravity draws gas and dust together, causing clumps to form and collapse under their own weight. These clumps, known as molecular clouds, are the seeds from which stars will eventually grow. As these clumps collapse, they heat up, creating protostars, hot, dense balls of gas that haven't quite reached the point of nuclear fusion. The process of collapse and heating can take millions of years, during which the protostar continues to gather material from its surroundings. As a protostar continues to accrete material, its core temperature and pressure rise. The infalling gas and dust add to the protostar's mass, increasing the gravitational pressure at its core. Eventually, the core becomes hot and dense enough to ignite nuclear fusion. This is the critical moment in the birth of a star, where the conditions are just right for hydrogen atoms to begin fusing into helium. Hydrogen atoms fuse together to form helium, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the process. This energy radiates outward, providing the light and heat that we associate with stars. This energy creates outward pressure that balances the inward pull of gravity, and a star is born. The balance between these forces is what keeps a star stable over its lifetime. Stars come in a variety of sizes, colors, and temperatures. The differences in these characteristics are determined by the star's mass and composition. Some stars are much larger and hotter than our sun, while others are smaller and cooler. The hottest stars can shine with a blue-white light, while cooler stars often appear red or orange. The life cycle of a star depends on its mass with more massive stars burning brighter but living shorter lives. Massive stars consume their fuel quickly, leading to shorter lifespans, while smaller stars burn their fuel more slowly, allowing them to shine for billions of years. When massive stars exhaust their fuel, they often end their lives in spectacular supernova explosions, leaving behind neutron stars or black holes. Smaller stars, like our sun, will eventually shed their outer layers and leave behind a dense core known as a white dwarf. Star formation is an ongoing process in galaxies across the universe. The death of one star can lead to the birth of new stars as the material expelled during a supernova can trigger the formation of new stellar nurseries. This cycle of birth, life and death is a fundamental aspect of the cosmos, driving the evolution of galaxies and the creation of new elements. Section 4. Planetary Formation from Dust to Worlds Planets like our own Earth form from the leftover material surrounding a newborn star. After a star ignites, the remaining gas and dust in the surrounding disk begin to clump together under the influence of gravity. These clumps called planetesimals collide and stick together, gradually growing larger over time. As they grow, their gravitational pull increases, attracting more material and accelerating their growth. In the inner regions of a planetary system, closer to the star, temperatures are hotter. This heat vaporizes volatile materials like ice, leaving behind rocky planetesimals that eventually form terrestrial planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Further out from the star, where temperatures are cooler, ices can survive. These icy planetesimals can grow much larger, forming gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn or ice giants like Uranus and Neptune. Section 5. Our Cosmic Neighborhood, the Milky Way Galaxy. 
Our sun is just one of billions of stars that make up the Milky Way galaxy, a vast spiral galaxy spanning over 100,000 light years across. Our solar system resides in one of the Milky Way's spiral arms about 26,000 light years from the galactic center. The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy, meaning it has a central bar-shaped structure composed of stars. Spiral arms extend outward from the ends of the bar, creating a magnificent pinwheel shape. Like a bustling city, the Milky Way is filled with a diverse population of stars, gas clouds, dust lanes, and mysterious objects like black holes. At the center of our galaxy lies a supermassive black hole, millions of times more massive than our sun,